I've seen a lot of comments from all of you out there saying things like, this guy isn't legit. He's not even calling himself a structural engineer talking about structural engineering topics. Well, let me take a second and clear up why that was. At the time of making those shorts, I was a licensed professional civil engineer who focused in the design of building structures, but I wasn't yet a licensed structural engineer, which is a separate license in some states here in the US. As a licensed civil engineer, you typically decide to focus on one of four major areas of expertise, geotechnical engineering, structural engineering, transportation engineering, and environmental engineering. I myself focus on the structural engineering side of things. But in places like California, Washington, Oregon, like where I'm located, and a few other states, the term structural engineer is legally protected. And basically using that title without the correct license can get you into trouble. Now, in these restricted states, structural engineers are required to stamp the structural plans for certain high risk or essential facilities. Things like hospitals, police stations, fire stations, schools, mid to high rise structures, long span bridges, facilities that maintain or hold dangerous chemicals, or just structures located in very high seismic regions. So while it's not impossible, don't expect to find a structural engineer's stamp on something like residential construction, where oftentimes a professional civil engineer's stamp will do just fine. Professionals who focus on structural engineering who practice in one of these states can find themselves in this gray zone where they hold their professional license in civil engineering. However, they don't yet have their structural engineering SE license. So in this in-between stage, you may hear professionals refer to themselves as structural designers or professional design engineers or civil engineers that specialize in structural design. And this is why you see me referring to myself as such in my earlier shorts. That said, as of today, or a little over a year ago, I believe, or a year and a half ago, uh, I am both a professionally licensed civil engineer as well as a professionally licensed structural engineer. So finally, I can legally say that I am indeed a structural engineer moving forward in all of my content.